Hello, my beautiful Scorpio. How are you guys? I hope you guys are all doing well. And if you guys are new here, then welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. So we are doing your March monthly reading. It is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate for you. But everything that you guys need to know about the reading or about scheduling your personals, all of that will be in the description box. So we're not wasting any time. We're just going to pray and get right into it. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. From my very beautiful Scorpio, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Please show me Scorpio's energy. Show me Scorpio's energy, please, for the month of March. Very clear messages with a very clear understanding. May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Show me Scorpio's energy, please. What is going on for my beautiful Scorpio? All right, Scorpios. So we have the Four of Wands. What a beautiful way to start off this reading. I love it. This is having something to celebrate. Okay, this is a celebration, a coming together. This is something, you know, whether it's something with your home, whether this is, you know, a success you've had within yourself, whether it's in your career, or your business, um, there is something that's bringing stability. Okay, it's bringing um, something to celebrate in. And I feel like it's definitely bringing some kind of peace, some kind of happiness. Okay, there's something really beautiful happening here for you in the month of March. I love it. I'm getting the word completeness. It doesn't seem to really fit, but this is something, it almost feels like a joining together. I mean, it feels just very complete, like everything is falling into place. That's kind of what that energy is. It's beautiful. So tell me about this Four of Wands for Scorpio, please. What is going on with this Four of Wands for Scorpio? The Page of Pentacles. So definitely, you know, manifestations coming in for you um, and good news. I feel like Pages are messengers. There's some something that you guys have been waiting for. And for some of you, it could be finances. Okay, where finances are starting to improve. Maybe you hear about a raise. Um, maybe you get a bonus. There's something going on here. Um, but things are definitely turning around. And it's definitely causing celebration. Even if it's just like your business, you like hit a milestone. There is something here that you guys... You know, that is coming in for you. That's just making you want to celebrate. It's worth celebrating. Tell me about this page of pentacles. What is this page of pentacles about for my beautiful Scorpios? The six of wands. So for a lot of you guys, this could be six. I mean, this is success. This is victory. If you guys have been working on a business or like a side hustle, something you're turning into a business, your passion, something in your career, if there's something that whatever you guys that you guys have been working on, okay, um, you're finding stability in that. There's definitely good news coming in surrounding that and there is success coming in and it's really just totally raising your vibration in a really beautiful way. And I feel like it's making you a million times more attractive um, because you feel amazing. You feel empowered. You feel successful. You feel confident. Okay, and this is something that you guys have worked really hard for so you guys earn every step of those feelings You deserve to feel that way and because you've worked really hard for this So tell me more about this six of wands Why is the six of wands here? Beautiful, so you guys have done some healing we got the hermit you guys have done some healing you guys have been I feel like you guys have been doing you know on your own doing your own thing this really feels to me um Maybe you guys haven't up to this point been very focused on love um, or some other things. Maybe you guys have just been really focused on the money, on the grind, on the business, on your passion. Um, but now that that's starting to all come together and starting to become successful for you, you're ready to come out of this hermit phase, okay? You guys are ready to, you know, really, I don't want to say show off, but let people see you. Let people see these accomplishments let people see this new confident um empowered version of yourself that you guys have worked really hard to become so what other energies are at play for my beautiful scorpios what new energies are coming in for my beautiful scorpios what outside energies are there at play in march for my beautiful scorpios all right let's see what's going on here so we have the knight of swords and judgment 
Ooh, baby. Okay, so there's definitely um, some kind of communication going on here. And I definitely want to clarify this judgment card before I speak too much on it. So clarify this judgment card, please, for me for Scorpio. Why is this judgment card here for Scorpio? Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. So there is somebody here that has made up their mind about you. I feel like they've been watching you. They've been, and I don't mean that in a creepy way, but they see this confidence. They see, you know, how you've transformed yourself. They see this really beautiful, attractive, confident, empowered Scorpio, and they want it, <laughs> and they want it. So this, there's somebody here that's made up their mind about you with this judgment card. They are looking at long-term stable commitment with you, okay? This is somebody who sees you as somebody that they could spend their life with, have a family with. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is long-term stable family. And the Knight of Swords. So I do feel like they are going to be reaching out. They are going to be communicating with you in the month of March. The King of Cups just fell out on top of the Knight of Swords. So they're going to be expressing their love to you. And this is somebody who's very emotionally mature. This is somebody who is very grounded and stable in their, in their thoughts and their feelings. So they have not just, you know, thought about this and rushed into it. This is somebody who is very mature. So they've been keeping an eye. They've been seeing this. They have, they're really sure about themselves and their feelings and their decisions. I love this. If they're coming in to express their feelings for you, their affections for you. So tell me more about this Knight of Swords, please. Tell me more about this Knight of Swords, please, for Scorpio. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. So we have the Seven of Pentacles. I think this is somebody who was waiting on you. And I mean this as like they, they were seeing everything that you were doing. And there was something that was keeping them feeling a little bit held back. Um, but I feel like they, in their way, have been watching you transform, watching you glow up. And they were holding themselves back. It's almost like they were waiting for the right time. Um, they were being very patient with that Seven of Pentacles energy. And now they're ready to express themselves. So let's take a look at this person's energy. Show me the person that's coming in for Scorpio, this person that's coming in to communicate with Scorpio. What is their energy towards Scorpio for the month of March? What is their energy towards Scorpio for the month of March, please? Beautiful. Beautiful. So, Scorpios, I'm starting to think, and I wondered with the judgment card, but until I... Um, get more confirmation. I don't like to just say X back readings. I don't like to talk about reconciliation unless it's very, very clear in the cards. And judgment definitely can be, you know, a reconciliation. It can be a resurrection of a past connection. Um, but it doesn't always mean. But with these other cards here, um, that is definitely what I'm seeing. There is somebody here that I feel like you had a huge tower moment with. Okay, and I feel like now they're having their own because they're having these realizations that you're who they want. They're seeing these changes in you because I feel like since you guys have been in, since you guys have been apart, you've kind of been on your own doing your own thing with that hermit energy. You guys have been really focused on your goals, your dreams, having a massive glow up. And this person has been seeing it. They see the changes in you. They see you being empowered. They see you you know, being attractive and accomplishing all your goals. Um, and they're having major realizations with this tower um, about what has happened between the two of you because they also have the Ten of Wands about this ending. So I want to clarify this and see what's going on with this. So I'm definitely feeling like this is a past person now. This is definitely an ex that is wanting to reach out for you or reach out to you. So tell me about this tower and the Ten of Wands. The Emperor. So I do feel like this is somebody who probably left very suddenly. Um, this is somebody that... It maybe it seems like it felt like they were telling you they loved you up until the day they left. Like this seems like they chose to end things very quickly. Okay, that's how that feels to me. I mean, it can resonate differently for everyone. Just take a message is how they resonate for you. But that's what it feels. It caused a huge tower moment for you. And I do believe that this ending um, and the way that this person ended things um, really was the catalyst for all of your change, Scorpio. It really pushed you um, to move forward. You kind of 
use that pain in like a spiritual alchemy to transmute that pain into fuel to become this version of yourself to really push you to accomplish the things that you want. Um, you guys, Scorpios are really known for being able to do that, for going through something that, you know, wrecks them and coming out 10 times stronger because of it. So I feel like this person is now really seeing what they've done to you. They're reflecting on how they ended things. Um, they're seeing how you've changed, how you've grown, you've glowed up, and it's very much so affecting them. I do feel like they will be reaching out to communicate. They also have the emperor in the reverse. They're not sure how to fix this for you. I feel like they're going to come to you and tell you because they did have the king of cups and the knight of swords. So they're definitely going to be reaching out and communicating with you, Scorpio. And I feel like they're going to be telling you with that ten of cups or that king of cups being there, you know, that they do have feelings for you still, that they have had feelings for you. Um, they don't really know with the emperor being in reverse how to fix this. When the emperor is in the upright it is about being in control of everything around you, just having everything under control, um, knowing how everything is going. Now, with the emperor being in the reverse, it's that total opposite energy, okay? So this is this person's like, I don't even know how to fix this. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to do from here. I don't know if Scorpio is going to receive this. I just don't know. But they want the four of wands with you. So this is you know, a coming together, a joining, it can be commitment. Um, and you had the four of wands earlier. So I do want to take a look and see what your energy is towards this person. What is Scorpio's energy in response to this person in March? What is Scorpio's energy in response to this person in the month of March, please? Scorpio's energy towards this person in the month of March. So I feel like you're going to be a little bit conflicted here because it's coming up as the two of swords. I feel like you're trying to make a head over heart decision. I feel like Scorpio, this person really hurt you when they just up and left. Okay. They didn't want to try. They didn't want to work on that because Scorpios don't do that. Um, you guys, when you guys love so deeply that you guys will give and you will, you will fight for a connection. Um, you really will. Um, and I feel like this person didn't do that. They didn't fight for you. They didn't put the effort. It was very sudden. And because of that, you feel very hurt and betrayed because you would have never done that to them. Now, I feel like you're a little conflicted because you're remembering all of that. You know, it's bringing up all this hurt, everything that has happened. Um, but you do still have a lot of love for this person. And that's where this confliction is. It's trying to make a head over heart decision. I'm trying to push your heart down and be like, it doesn't matter that we still love them. Remember what they did to us. Um, and then we have the six of swords in the reverse clarifying this. So you're not sure if you can get past everything that they have done. You don't know if you guys, you can get past the hurt. So how does Scorpio feel about this person? How do they feel about this person in the month of March? How does Scorpio feel about them? Let's get one more. Beautiful. So we have the Ace of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So there's a part of you, Scorpio, in your deep down heart of hearts, okay, that once, like, had hoped... There was a time where you really hoped for this kind of love and offer from this person and you really wanted things to move forward with them. And I think there's still a part in your heart that does really want to accept this offer and, you know, commit to them and move forward. But you're just not sure mentally if you can, you know, get past everything that they've done, all the hurt that they caused. It's definitely, this is definitely a mind over heart, dis, you know, um, matter where your heart and your mind are just not on the same page. Um... So let's see what the outcome is for you guys in the month of March. What is the outcome for Scorpio and this person in the month of March? What is the outcome of Scorpio and this person in the month of March? What is the outcome of Scorpio and this person in the month of March, please? Okay, so we have the three of pentacles the king of swords and the temperance okay so i do feel like i'm gonna be honest with you scorpio i i do believe that with the temperance and the three of pentacles here you are going to see i feel like you're going to give this person a chance 
And I don't mean maybe you'll necessarily jump into a full commitment with them, but I do believe that you are giving them the opportunity to see, or giving yourselves the opportunity to see if you can heal this. Okay, the temperance is all about healing. Okay, and I do feel like you are going to give this person the opportunity to see if you guys can heal this. If this is something that you guys can fix, maybe you're going to just talk to them. Maybe you're going to, you know, give them a chance, go on a couple dates, whatever it is. I feel like you're giving yourselves the chance to see if it's something that can be healed. And the three of pentacles is partnership. It is working together. It is being on the same page. It is work though. You know, these people are working together on a common goal to build something. They're building that four of pentacles stability, okay? So I do think that you're going to, you know, see if this is a connection that can be healed. If you guys can work through this together. If you guys can heal this together. But with the king of swords being here, I do feel like you will have your heart a little bit more guarded than maybe you would have before. You have a little bit of a, a wall around your heart when it comes to this person um, because of what they've done in the past. So I feel like you're just dipping your toes and you're testing the waters. Um, but I also feel like with the King of Swords that you're being very clear. You are telling this person what it did to you, how it made you feel, what you want, what you don't want, what you you know will not tolerate. Um, so I feel like you're being very blunt and honest with this person um, and keeping a little bit of an emotional distance to protect yourself. But I do feel like you will be giving this person, you know, a chance. So let's go ahead and get your confirmation, clarification, and advice messages. So Archangels, Spirit Guides, and Ancestors, can I get some confirmation, clarification, and advice for my beautiful Scorpios? Confirmation, clarification, and advice. Let's see what we have. You guys got three of them. We got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So I feel like this is definitely that energy that we just talked about, about you being very open, being very honest with this person. Um, you're not holding back when it comes to telling how you feel. You're putting it all out there. And I feel like as you guys sit there and, you know, really hash out these feelings, put this stuff all out there, it does strengthen your bond. It's almost like you guys are getting to know each other all over again um, because this experience has changed both of you. This person has had major realizations and you, Scorpio, have used this as fuel to transform yourself. You're almost, you know, a different person in some ways. So this is about you guys really getting to know each other and just really laying everything out on the table. We have reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So there's just that little confirmation from spirit. And past life relationship, you've known each other before. So this could definitely be um, where that thing, that ending had to occur to clear up some karma from a past life um, that you guys have shared together. But that's why this connection feels so strong, even after time apart, um, because you guys have known each other before you have, you know, have had past lives together. So let's go ahead and get your charms and see what other messages have to come out. And I will say this, Scorpio, just because somebody wants to come back does not mean that you have to let them. If you think that this was toxic for you and you've gotten to a really good place and you don't want to take the chance, go ahead and preemptively block their numbers and stuff so that they can't get a hold of you. You know, you have to do what's best for you. And just because somebody wants your energy does not mean you are required to give it to them. Um, however, if you do want to, it does look like this person has had realizations. Um, and I do feel like as long as you are open and honest, dip your toe in the water. So let's go ahead and see what charm messages we can get. Beautiful. All right, so, wow, a lot of messages here. First off, we have the butterfly. And I do feel like there's big change and transformation coming in, but I do feel like this is also um, symbolic of the change and transformation that you have went through, how you have transformed yourself through all the pain, use this experience to make yourself be the best version of yourself. And, you know, you have changed. And I feel like the butterfly coming in is symbolic of that, of that beautiful transformation that you guys have worked so hard for and that you should be proud of yourself for, but also of the change that is yet to come. So we do have two different tools here. We have the tool and then we have the hammer. Now, I do feel like there 
with the tool being here, it is reminding you guys that this is going to be work. Um, a lot of times if reconciliations do not work out, it is because people just wanted to either jump back in and let the past be totally in the past and not work through any of the stuff and they end up in the same position. Or, you know, they don't want to put the work in that it's going to actually require to fix the connection and to get to where you want to be. And if nobody did any work on themselves, this is the most important, if both people did not work on themselves and have any growth during the separation, it makes it very difficult for the reconciliation to work. Now, if both people have worked on themselves, had realizations, and have had growth, then there's a beautiful chance for it. So I think this is symbolizing that you guys not forget the work that you guys have put in on yourself and the work that it could take to fix this. And with the hammer being here, um, I feel like you're both going to be a little bit guarded initially this person because they don't know how you're going to respond. If they're feeling guilty, they don't know if you're going to take them back. Scorpios, I'm a Scorpio sun and rising and, <clears throat> and Mercury. So I definitely know how we can be. And when we get hurt, our stinger can come out and it, it is definitely this person has every right to be a little bit nervous of that stinger Scorpio because they have hurt you um, they have betrayed you and that's exactly what it takes for our stingers to come out so I do feel like this person has a little bit of a wall up at first because they are worried about how you're going to respond they don't know how you're going to take it and I feel like you have a little bit of a wall up as well because you don't know what this person's true intentions are. You don't want to go through the hurt that you have in the past with them. So I feel like there's a need with the hammer to both of you, you know, make sure you take the wall down. Initially, if you want to just test it, that's okay. But you can't keep that wall up forever. You guys are not going to be able to have that bonding experience. Get back to that close place that you once were if you keep that wall up the whole time. Now, with the star being here, this is symbol, uh, <clears throat> it is symbolic of Aquarian energy. It reminds me very much of the star card. So they're saying that, you know, this is like a dream come true, a wish fulfillment, um, but it's also healing, okay? A big part of the star card is healing. So it's saying very much that there is definitely a lot of healing and work and vulnerability that needs to happen here for this to be successful, yeah, we have the little clam spirit as well. There's a pearl inside if you can open up. So there's definitely a need to be open and honest for both of you in this situation. But there is abundance coming in for you. We definitely have the little elephant here, which is representing big change. It's also representing abundance. I do feel like there is blessings. There is really beautiful things coming in for you because of all the work that you have put in. So I really like these little messages for you guys. I hope that you did too. And we are going to get your angel messages now. So, Archangels, as you watch over and you guide my beautiful Scorpio through the rest of February, or I'm sorry, for the month of March, what messages do you have for them? What messages do you have for them? As you watch over and you guide my beautiful Scorpios through the month of March, what messages do you have for them that will help them the very most? All right, let's see what flew out for you. Beautiful. We have, I bring you a message from your deceased loved one. I am happy and at peace, and I love you very much. Please don't worry about me. So for some of you, obviously this isn't going to be a message for everyone, but for some of you, if you guys have had, you know, a passed on loved one who's passed away recently or who has been on your mind a lot lately, um, this is a message for you. They want you to not worry. They want you to know that they're happy and that they're safe and that they are with you. That is a beautiful message. And then we have caution is warranted. Look into the situation deeper before proceeding further. So this is a very important message from Spirit. Spirit is saying just because somebody comes back in fast does not mean that you have to then, you know, commit fast or take the whole relationship fast. You know, it is okay to do things at a slower pace. It is okay to not, you know, skinny dip in that water to just jump in you know, and go for it. It's okay to just dip your toe in. It's okay to do things at a slower pace because of everything that you guys have been through. Um, Spirit is saying, it's okay. There's a little caution. You need to go deeper. You need to really look into it before you jump head first. Um, I feel like the big message there is about taking your guys' time, okay? And don't let anybody rush you. So I really hope that this 
resonates for you. And if it does, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it doesn't, check out your other sign placements. Sometimes our moon rising and Venus can resonate more than our sun sign does. Um, if none of them resonate, I'm sorry. It's just not your message. I do ask my guides to give me the messages that need to be heard the very most at that time. Um, if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you guys hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weeklies are uploaded, you guys can be notified and you can go check them out. But most importantly, if you guys want personal prayers for any reason, you can put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, and I will go through and pray for you personally, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love and light. Till next time, bye.